In Kenya, pharmacies are literally everywhere. Since the liberalization of the trade in 1991, people felt it was an easy way to make money. People started treating drugs like sugar. Yeah. Sugar, you can buy the amount you want. It made medicines widely available, even without prescription. Even stronger drugs like antibiotics are sold over the counter and then often used without any real need and often in too large doses. Doctors of the main hospital in Nairobi are afraid this can lead to immunity against antibiotics and making diseases hard to treat, which can even lead to patients dying unnecessarily. Because you assume the drug is sensitive, but after some time you realize, no, it is not. But you have wasted time, so you lose the patient. Meanwhile, drug manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline in Kenya stepped in with a campaign Crush the Resistance. GSK wants to teach consumers and healthcare professionals to be careful with prescribing and selling antibiotics. The company has a big interest in crushing the resistance, or otherwise could be forced into expensive solutions. Then you have to invest in research, in new, in new drugs, which takes time and is a lot more costly. The government body in Kenya that is responsible for pharmacies and medicines is the Pharmacy and Poisons Board. The register explains the current situation by the board's lack of resources in the past. But now it's starting a major crackdown on pharmacies. This is going to be massive. Those who don't have licenses or those who are doing malpractice, dispensing without prescription, uh, are going, are going to, to, to be taken to court. Some 50 additional inspectors are appointed for the job. It might take some time to finish, since there are over 3,000 pharmacies in Kenya. This is Ruth Almondarp, reporting from the capital, Nairobi.